Sir, can I have a word with you? Yeah, absolutely. There's no need for sirs. Just call me Patrick. And save the military stuff for Roger. I'm just here doing my own thing. Can you describe your thing, sir? This place is my baby. I designed it, then I got the funding to build it. So now I'm here to help you in case you got questions about the base. My question is about the purpose of our mission, sir. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to help you there. You're going to have to talk to Roger. He's the one that gets the orders and hands them out. But where does he get his orders from if communications are down? Well, you're going to have to take that up with him. Thanks. Kayla! How's our supplies? Low. Very low. I've already started cutting everyone back to rations as a precaution, but not to great extent. Obviously, I don't want to cause panic. <laughs> They're not idiots. Three weeks late on our routine supplies. I'm sure everybody's thinking the worst. You keep that locked, I'll keep them in line. we Will do, sir. So, we meet again. Every day. And I guess we have to go through this every time I give you your physical. What can I say? I look forward to you checking me out. I'm checking you out. Daily checkups are vital up here. If you guys get sick or hurt, I'm all you have. I don't doubt I'm in good hands. I'm just waiting for you to ask to check mine out. Shirt on or off? You know you want it off. I'm ready. Hey, is that supply ship stuff? No, this isn't food. Just some hard drives I gotta reinstall. Alright, let me know when it comes in. Kenny! 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 Um, hey, hey boss. Any word? Uh, no. Um, nothing from Earth. You're a communication specialist. I can't believe there's there's not something you can do. Look, the easiest way I can explain this is I can try as hard as I want all day long to push calls down to Earth, but I cannot force them on the other end to pick up. Everything up here is running fine. I'm honestly stumped. Every day it's hard to keep up morale. Their imaginations are going to go wild. What, like there was a nuclear war uh. or something? I mean, I thought about that, don't get me wrong. But we have, literally, front row seats. You can see everything. We could see an awesome fireworks display from up here. So, it just seems okay. unlikely. Oh! Okay. It might have been a plague. Wiped out the entire human race, because that's pretty silent. But oh my god, that would suck. I had just started vlogging. Right before all this shit went down, man, I had seven followers. Seven! I'm like getting big, you know? Get this, get this. I'm calling Kenny in a box. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm Kenny in a box. <laughs> Can I watch my video? Why? We watch those to motivate us. It gets us through the hard times, a reminder of why we're up here. Yeah, maybe everybody else's, not your family, right? You watching our personal videos? <laughs> no, sir. No, um, here. I'll give you all the privacy you need. Oh, here, let me grab my energy juice and don't touch my laser sword. Hey, Dad. Miss you. When are you coming home? I really hope to see you soon. Yeah, my mom's making some mother on those damn messages. Who even cares that he's up there? It's not like I give a fuck about him. Dude's not been around my entire life. Yeah. He's saving the world. Dick can't even show up for my birthdays. You know, my mom should have divorced him years ago. Then I would have had a shot at a real father in my life. Hey, get oh. oh, you scared me. Did you need something? Yeah.
Robin! Can I get your opinion on something? Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up? Sorry, he just scares me sometimes. Mitch? Oh, uh, he got issues. How'd you get approved to be up here anyway? There's several people here that are questionable, but you do your science stuff, I'll do the dangerous stuff, and we'll let Kate worry about everyone else. Don't you mean Roger? Let's not go there. Hey Kayla, have you seen Roger? He's stressed. He's doing his routine walkthrough. Thanks, Kayla. Kenny! Kenny! What's the matter? Kayla. Dylan. Shower? Did the towel give it away? You know, for safety purposes, you really should have someone in there with you. Well, I'm all about safety, but where would I find someone willing to get wet? Say no more. I would do it. Wouldn't be fun for me. We all need to get our hands dirty sometimes. Excuse me. May I have a word with you, please? She will talk to you later. Bye-bye. What's the matter? That boy. Dylan? Yes, he's no good. <laughs> he only wants one thing. Really? Yeah. You know who will be good for you? Who? Patrick. <laughs> he's in charge and he is a good guy. What are you doing here? I have to check up on everyone to see how things are holding up. Never seen you so motivated. Is there an issue? My department's mechanics. This base is structurally sound, okay? Air water reclamation perfect. Trust me, we'll run out of food before my shit fails. So what's wrong with the pipe? The pipe? It's just a pipe. Um, this, uh, sh uh, routine maintenance. Okay, keep me informed. That's the ass I'm looking for. Kayla, you... Wait a second. Whose ass is that? Huh? Did you finish your morning checks? Almost. Sir, can you just inform me the drill to stop working for some unknown reason? He thinks something hit it. I'll get Dylan out there. But sir, it's Robin's turn. It's my call, Lieutenant, not yours. Go finish your checks. Yes, sir. Kate. Trust me, it's for the best. You're in charge. Hey, Kenny. What's up? Can I see some video of my mom? I'm feeling a little homesick. Yeah, absolutely. I can queue it up for you, but I know they're going to be calling you any minute. Sarah, please report to the lab. Hmm? What are you, psychic? I know things, Sarah. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead, do your thing. I'll have it all set up for you by the time you get back, all right? Hmm. Good workout? Huh? You're sweating. No, I didn't dry off yet. I just took a shower. Oh. I did have a pretty good workout, though. I'm always up for another. <laughs> you couldn't keep up with me, buddy. Oh, that sounds like a challenge. One I'll be happy to take you up on. Just tell me when, where, and what position. Dial it back there, buddy. I'm here to ask a serious question. Oh, serious? So you're going to help me find my Pop-Tart? You're stashing food? No. I just didn't get a chance to eat it the other day when I was fixing pump one. I thought I left it in Anita's drawer, but I can't find it. She probably ate it or gave it to Patrick. <laughs> probably. What's your thoughts about the lack of communication in this place? Mmm, let's talk about the real important issue. I see a spark between us. God. Dylan, I need you to suit up. What about me? Go get your daily check. Oh, come on. 
Hey, that's mine. Get out there. So how are you feeling? Pissed off. Roger sent Dylan outside to go check on something and me here for this bullshit physical. Thank you for respecting my work. Oh God, you know what I meant. Look, we all have a job here. Mine is to keep you guys healthy. Roger seems like a pretty fair guy. I'm sure he has his reasons. We are supposed to alternate times outside to minimize risk. Dylan has been out six times in three days. I have been out three times in three days. Either Roger doesn't understand what alternate means or he can't count. Either way, he's an ass. Hey, Dylan. Can you get some samples around the whole area? You know you just set me up for a bad comeback. Yes, it was an accident. Hmm, surprised you're not taking advantage of it though. You know these relays are recording everything. So <laughs> maybe I just don't want my response on record. Really? Yeah, I didn't believe you'd buy that. I guess I'm just happy to be outside. I'm only here to do the dirty work. Speaking of dirty, I was wondering... Dylan? Dylan? Dylan, can you hear me? Dylan? Oh, shit. I can't believe me. Bullshit. Damn, Patrick, move! I've got to go! What's going on? Dylan isn't responding. Robin, suit up. On it. Mitch shouldn't have any problems with dragging him back. But just in case, start up Crane 2 and move it to the North Bay side. Sarah, are his vitals still good? I'm going to extraction point. Mary. I'm on it. I'll prep for anything I can think of. Give me anything you can monitor. Visually, his camera, or maybe his whole suit is down. Breathing's erratic. Can you tell if he's conscious or not? Rob and I have you in comms. In airlock, we'll be out in 10 seconds. Suit locator is active. What cameras do we have outside that has a visual? Just the one by drill two, but he's already 10 feet beyond that point. Robin, did you hear that info? Yes, I'm on route. I'm having trouble with my light. Hit the... Kenny? We need the base dome light on. Kenny! Damn it! Robin, there's a handheld light in storage three. Yeah, I can't go back for that. There's no time. Kenny! We need your help. Dylan is stuck outside. Turn the dome light on. Stay off the music. Talk to me, Robin. Guys? Guys, I got the dome light on now. Just let me know if there's anything else that you need. Make sure the drill is powered down. That's the first thing that should have been done. I'll take care of it. Fuck. Sorry I didn't think of that. Sit down. It wasn't your job. Your main focus was to keep track of his vitals and inform us. I just... I don't... He's going to be okay. I'm going to the extracting keep comms open. Sarah, and breathe. Dylan. Dylan! Robin, do you have him? Yeah, I'm bringing him back. He's in some kind of daze. What's, What's your thoughts? thoughts, Mary? Sounds like shock, but which would be normal. Just get him to me. He's in the airlock now. Roger and I will have him there in 10 seconds. I will be ready. Let's put him in the clean room. Roger, switch the valves. Deep breathing. Pressure should be on. Mary, start the scan. Roger, have you seen Anita? my- Anita? Uh, yeah, my personal cook. No. Hey, what was all that fuss about earlier? Dylan, he almost died. He still might. He's in med bay with Mary. Wow. Well, hey, if you see Anita, let her know I'm looking for her. Yeah. Hey, by the way, any communications from Earth yet?
No, and our supplies are getting low. Ah, I'm not too worried about that. This place is a huge investment. They'll get stuff to us soon. Trust me. Doesn't look like you're missing any meals. Well, I have my special supplies. We're all in the same boat up here. Yes and no. No offense, buddy, but everybody else is your responsibility, not mine. Hope Dylan's okay. He's stable now, at least. I heard what happened. Is Dylan okay? I have him in isolation. I've been monitoring him. I still don't understand why he won't wake up. Can I see him if I wear one of those? No. I'm keeping everyone out for right now. Why don't you go get some rest? I can't just walk away. You don't understand. Look, we know Dylan and you were hooking up. You can't do anything for him, but by helping us, you can help him. Do you understand? Kayla, you okay? Wait, they were hooking up? You didn't know that? Well, I mean, I knew Dylan was a flirt, but... That's putting it mildly. He would have hooked up with all of us if we've given him the opportunity. Well, I guess I see your logic. I mean, we all had to have physicals to get up here, right? And it's not like he can go to a local bar. I mean, his choices are limited, but he's a healthy young male. <laughs> Regretting you gave him the opportunity? No. <laughs> I mean, why? Oh my god, you don't think that he's... No, no. I don't know. I can't figure out why he's unconscious. Well, I got another mystery for you. He had a rib in his suit. Had to be done in the base. He wouldn't have survived out there. Well, I know that, and you know that, but... There are things going on that we can't explain. Inform Roger and Kate. I'm gonna start slowly stimulating him. We might not be able to let him wake up on his own. Okay, it was emergency. I'm gonna disregard you overstepping my authority. I believe the safety of our people fall under both of our- Kate, don't put your foot in your mouth. You did good. We got him in as quick as humanly possible. Yes, sir. With that being said, future endeavors, I give the order. Permission to speak freely. Kate, off the record, I'm proud of you. Off the record, I don't give a shit. I'm tired of being kept in the dark. Our main purpose can't be just to maintain order up here. No more off the record. That's fine, because everything we say or do is recorded anyway. We just don't know if anyone will ever see it. New development. Good or bad. We don't know. Everything okay? If you need Patrick's help, please let me know. He was looking for you. Okay. I'll explain to Roger. You search a monitor and see if you can find out where the rip happened. Well, I already did that. Do it again. He's going to keep asking until you have an answer. He's not going to accept this. I'll try again. Maybe Kenny can help. Roger or Kate, please report to the medical suite ASAP. Here, there, what the hell? I'll fill you in on the way. I have a problem. Dylan? That's the problem. I'm sure you both are up to date on the suit news. Partly, and I suggest you don't go in there without having somebody monitoring you. I didn't think I needed anyone watching him while I went to the bathroom. How did he get out? Isn't the room sealed? More good questions I don't have the answers to. Stop with the wild conspiracy. He probably woke up, somebody came to visit him and let him out. And let him out of a clean room without notifying me? A lot of people up here do dumb things without following proper channels. You can't see that this is a problem? I did. That's why I didn't announce it. Oh my god, you're up. I was so Anybody worried. Anybody sees Dylan, please check in. What's going on? You're gonna be my first. Oh! You know that was stupid, right? Oh! Remind me who gets the big paycheck to make the decisions? Well, assholes do make more money. Guys, really? Roger, enough. I need your help to take care of these people. I agree, but not that you need my help. So... We split up. 
we search for Dylan. Whoever we run into, we send them to the rec room. It's time we put everything out there so we all know what's going on. Everyone has to come clean. I agree. I'm all for it, except for the splitting up part. Hey, what was that announcement about? Is Dylan okay? We don't know. Take Mary to the rec room. So what do I do if I find Dylan? We don't know. You're gonna fill me in, right? Yes. Let's go. Hey, man. Kayla's room, huh? <laughs> so you're the other ass I saw. And you. I'm jealous, man. I'm gonna tell you. I know you got it going on or whatever. Should have seen me when I was in my prime. Maybe you, uh, get me in on that. Dylan, you need to go back to Med Bay. Damn, I thought I was the one that creeped her out. Guess she knows what we're both thinking, huh? <laughs> it's just a matter of time. And yours is up. One more drink. He was there, and then he wasn't, so that's all you know. They just told us to go to the rec room, okay? <sighs> you are a mess. You are going to track that everywhere. Let's get you clean up. Hey, Sarah, have you seen my, uh, have you seen Anita? No, but we need to go. There's something wrong. Hey, guys, we need to get to the rec room till we find Dylan. I found Dylan. He's with Mitch. But there's something wrong. Okay, you guys get to the rec room. I'll go check on Mitch. If you guys run into Anita, Kimmy, or Kayla, take them with you. You need to come with us. Um, well, someone needs to go that way. You gonna do it? Good luck. Psh, figures. Hey, find Anita for me. All right. Get in the shower. Patrick will never get hurt like uh, that. Uh, 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 uh. Kate, Patrick, Mary, and Sarah. Hey, just Roger. In. Dylan was with Mitch over by Kayla's pod. Robin went there. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm on the east side. I'll swing by communications to pick up Kenny. He's probably listening to his damn music. Okay. Listen, there was something funny going on with Dylan. Like, you know I always get that vibe with Mitch, but I'm starting we'll to get We'll check him like... out when he gets in here, okay? okay? Just have a seat. All right. D. Did you want to listen to some tunes? Roger. Roger. Lock the door until I get back. Why? Just lock the damn door. Okay, I gotta go find out what's going on. You guys lock the door when I'm gone. Hey, Roger, find Anita. Kayla, Kenny. I'll bring everybody back. Just, Just lock the door. Oh, 
no, Kenny. Kenny, breathe, Kenny, breathe. Uh, what the fuck? I... You step back in here, I'm gonna... Whoa! Just me. He's too dangerous to track alone. What the hell is wrong with him? I don't think we're gonna get that answer. But this ends only one of two ways. We kill him, or he kills us. I vote the first way. Yeah. Let's go. Kate, Kate, it's Roger. We're in the shit now, Anita. Kenny. And Kayla too. You guys okay? Do we look okay? No. We need to retreat and regroup. What about Mitch? Nobody gives a shit about Mitch. According to Sarah, Mitch and Dylan were together at her last sight. Dylan's on the rampage, safe to say. Mitch is probably dead. We still need to look for him. Do you really want to be the hero or the stupid one here? We have Patrick, Sarah, and Mary. None of which stands a chance against Dylan. But they're locked up in the rec room. He got out of the clean room. Are you shit? Really? We're going back. We have to protect the others. You do what you think is right, okay? Damn it! You guys are prolonging this! Open the door! How do we know it's you? Open the damn door! When I get in there, I'm gonna shove my foot up your ass! Well, we know that's Kate. Roger, where's Anita? I'm sorry. What do you mean? Listen, I don't want to be harsh. The facts are, Anita, Kayla, Kenny, and possibly Mitch are no longer with us. What are you talking about? What was going on out there? Honestly, we don't know. And let's have a moment for the ones that we lost. And let's get it all out. No, we know about the ripped suit. I want to know how Anita died and how you can be so sure that she's gone. Maybe we need medical I'm supplies. Well, Mary, if they're covered no. in blood, how I mean, did you know covered in blood? Did you know what it means? Hey! It. I didn't know about the ripped suit. And trust me, we saw the bodies. You don't want to see them. Okay. Actually, I'm at a loss for words because everybody was my responsibility and... And they still are. Listen, we have a threat. Dylan. For whatever reason, he wants us all dead. That's the only thing we have to worry about now. No, it isn't. Patrick, I'm sorry about your mom, but you need to come clean on why we're up here. Your mom? His mom? Wait. You guys couldn't see that Anita was his mom? Sorry, how did you get your mom approved for this mission? I was suspicious that our mission wasn't what we were told. You need to come clean, like, now. Look, leave him alone. He found out he just lost his mom. We do not have time. <sighs> Sarah, make sure the door is locked. I'm going to come with you. Thanks. You're right. You guys deserve to know why you're here. 17 years ago, one of our labs was studying an asteroid. They figured it came from the moon, but it had this one element that they couldn't quite figure out. The stuff is better conducted than gold. It's stronger than titanium. It's worth more than every diamond on Earth. Think about this. If any of you had this, you'd be the richest person on the planet. We couldn't risk anybody pocketing it, so all the information was classified and on a need-to-know basis. The government definitely wants it bad. They build a base for me up here on the moon and allow me to bring my mom. Both seem like a huge mistake at this point. This whole mission was supposed to be a game changer for life as we know it. There's no coincidence that we have a Russian base just three miles from us. Forget the space race. Whoever controls this stuff will rule the world. 
And that's the mission. Wait, a Russian base? Maybe we could get help. They aren't up and running yet. I've been watching it for weeks. It's unoccupied. Yeah, but you know what? They would have had to stock it up. And I don't think anybody's going to care about us breaking and entering at this point. True. But how do you even get in or get there? Is that worth it? I think it is worth it. Well, you know, I mean, even if you could get in, if you heard her, it's not worth going. There is always a way in. If we can't find and contain Dylan, running out of supplies is the least of our worries. That's so true. Uh, looks like somebody wants us to come out and play. Let the games begin. Here, and I should thank you for sending Dylan instead of me. It wasn't what you thought. I saw he was getting antsy, and it was just a matter of time. I needed to get him away from everybody. But you are the toughest one here. Except for Kate. I'm taking her with me. You take care of them. Yes, sir. Let's go do what we are here for. <sighs> Be careful. You don't know what's in him. Sadly, he's just nuts, and we have to put him down. No. He got a rip in his suit, and now he's on a killing spree. You may not want to see the sci-fi element, but... Damn it! We're on a moon base! Just wake up and see the bigger picture here. We are in new territory. She's right. Even my best scalpels would have a hard time cutting through that suit. You guys believe what you want. But like she said, we have a threat and we're going to go take care of it. Lock the door behind us. I can't believe I'm not going to see her again. You can't blame yourself. Oh yeah? But who's responsible for her being here? What if... What? If she's right, how do we know they won't be infected when they come back? If they come back? They're coming back, and how do you know we're not infected? We're not trying to kill each other. Exactly! So... Let's just be smart. I'm gonna go wash up. We need my medical supplies. Being smart means being prepared. I agree, but we can't get them right now. We'll be all right. You know I left the pipe with them, in case they need it, but we still need a weapon also. You aren't good at hand-to-hand? -hand? Yeah, but it doesn't mean he's gonna play fair. Good point. Look around, see if we can spot something. Wait, I see Mitch's toolbox. See if there's something in there, I'll watch out. Maybe a hammer or something, he's got Something all right, it's not a hammer. <sighs> Good old Mitch. <laughs> well, it's something. If Dylan somehow destroys all the medicine, it does us no good. Look, Mary, <laughs> I see your point. But either we go all together, or we don't go at all. And I'm not going. I'm sorry, I just don't think it would be a wise idea. Sorry. You know, we still don't know what we're dealing with. Well, it landed by the drill. Landed? I thought you said it hit the drill. No, you didn't listen. Like an asteroid? Asteroid. If it was an asteroid shower, I would have never sent him out there. But it does explain the rip. He would have lost a body part with that rip. Where was it? Crotch area. Maybe it wasn't that big. Yes, he was. Hey, we might be able to use this as a weapon. Let's see. <laughs> now we can. Damn. You got issues you want to talk about? Anyway, you didn't see the rip. I did. It entered the front of the suit and didn't exit. So you think it's some kind of mass or parasite, if you believe what Sarah says? It's not a virus or airborne. We would all be infected. True. But still, I'm not buying it. He, Dylan's no different than any young soldier in an isolated environment. I saw the signs. He was about to crack. So you were doubling up on his assignment to justify sending him home early? That was the plan. Dumb plan, Roger. You don't see the brilliance of it. I come off looking like a chauvinist. So he thinks I'm on his side when really I wasn't. You should have had the balls to send him home. Now look where we're at. Shit. 
He's got the advantage. The boxes were on the east side of the corridor? East side. We'll go west. Back it out. Okay. All right. Can't change when you get outside. But why don't you just take two tanks? But, I mean, wouldn't that be hard? The tanks are built into the suits. Seriously? Well, that's a stupid design. You know what else is stupid? Looks like Mary must have slipped out. You know, I'm sure she means well, but fuck her. We can't! I don't know. She might be right about that medicine. Or maybe it's something that she needs. What do you mean? Just a hunch I'm working off here, but that medicine's not worth my life. And we're safe in here. We're not playing his game anymore. I was thinking the same thing. You or me. You got the bottle. I'll be the bait. No. It's your turn, Mary. It's nothing personal. (laughs) It's always personal. Let's do this. We need help in the medical suite now. Now. Help us. (laughs) It's not in me anymore. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Everybody out. Let's go. Come on, seal the room. Dylan's dead, open up. Good, let's get the fuck home. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. He's dead. He's sealed in Med Bay. That's all you need to know. Fine, let's get back to the original problem. So we have three miles of rough terrain that we have to get through, and we have no rover. And we also need three hours of oxygen, but our suits can only handle two. Take two suits. We thought about that. We just have to figure out how to change out the tanks. But I thought we still couldn't get in. I thought you were. It's worth the risk type. I can't believe I'm entertaining this ridiculous theory, but if Dylan was infected... Then we need to monitor each other. But he was sealed in medbay. Yeah, but it could have gotten out with one of them. But me and you never left here. We're all together now. Fuckers. Look, he still could have just went nuts. You know, he's right. There's no communication. We had no supplies. We were all a little stressed. So I'm going to side with Roger on this one. Whatever. The facts haven't changed. We still need to find a way out and be cautious. We'll take turns watching Med Bay. We can watch it on Kenny's system. We're going to have to remove Kenny first. I want to see my mom. No, you don't. Trust me. Patrick, no. I'll do it. I've already seen the body. No, I'll do it. I'll put him in Kayla's pod. We'll do it. Okay, then we'll keep trying to figure this out. Patrick, you know every inch of this base. Can you give us something? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's a lot of shit I gotta process here. I know. I'm sorry. So, are you buying Sarah's theory? You have to admit, some of it adds up. Alien parasite? Didn't say I bought the alien part. You have your own theory? Don't you? Oh, I forgot. A strong, young, brave, cocky, confident boy scored off the charts on all of his tests to make it all the way up here just to go crazy because in your mind he was bored? Well, when you say it like that, it is hard to believe. I knew it was a mistake that they took that ship away. Well, look, the thing was broken. Mitch couldn't repair it. It was only for emergencies anyway. You guys have your resupply ship coming every six months. We don't really need it. Well, a broken ship is better than no ship. Don't you You doing okay? It Look, was just, just really get me to that station, and I'll be able to fly us out of here. Can't be much different than our own spaceships. I'll figure it out. All right, well, we need some brains. Sarah! I'm going to be right back, okay? Okay. Uh, I feel sorry for Patrick. I don't want to see your sensitive side, Kate. We both know this is going to end badly. Whether Sarah's right or we can't prove that she's wrong, tough decisions need to be made! <sighs> hey, Sarah, what do you think of reverse of filter with the hose? Sir, you know, I got a headache. You guys figure this out. Yeah, like, what if they come and check on us? 
Even if we're all dead, it might not be. I thought about that. But last resort. Might be come up sooner than later. Let's get him. Uh. Whoa! Oh. Well, mm. we found Mitch. Give me a minute. Having second thoughts about your theory? No, deep thoughts about what's going to happen. <sighs> I mean, whether this is an alien parasite or whatever it is. I mentioned I'm not convinced it's alien. Explain. The lack of communication. They can build this billion dollar base, but they can't get in touch with us. It doesn't make sense. You know the Russian base was dropped in not too long ago. What if this thing was to take out the competition? Oh, bold move, but... Uh, it doesn't make sense, because even if it made it back, it would affect our side. Plus, it hit by us. Either bad aim, or worse. They're using us as the guinea pigs. Well, either way... We need to make some decisions. You guys can come down to communication room. Roger, Roger. Mary, Robin, we need to go. What? It was funny. Jesus, what happened to this place? Where's Robin? She went to go check on supplies. So she said. What's that supposed to mean? She's acting weird. Remember, I did daily checks on everyone here. I got to know your personalities pretty well. Yeah, but who's not going to be acting weird with all the shit going on around here? True, but don't you think it's odd she's always agreeing with Roger? No offense. I mean, that doesn't prove anything. Look, you said that this whatever it is, that happened to Dylan. It could actually be in him, and not Dylan doing the madness. She saved my life naturally. I don't want her to be next, but look at the facts. Robin, report your location. Robin, can you report in? Patrick, is this going throughout the whole base? Shit, I don't know. You guys really fucked this thing up. Did you beat someone over the head with this? Actually, never got the chance. Robin, if you can hear me, find a comm and check in. You keep trying, I'm gonna go see her. You stay here, it's my job. I'll go. Patrick, see if you can get this up and running. Mary and Sarah, do whatever you can to help. I'm gonna stand guard. I am so proud of you. Damn. Kenny. You are setting new ground to save Kenny was gonna pull up my video. I don't hear from you every day, Guess I'm that was the last thing he did. Robin. We've been calling you. I didn't hear you. Uh, did you secure the airlock? It closes on its own. Oh, uh, when the system's down, you can manually lock. Can you help me? Sure. All right, hold it right there. Yes, it's back. Who's the man? Roger, we have you on video. You and Robin can come back now. Where are they going? That's not the way back. Maybe the thing can mask itself better than we know. Or Roger senses something. Patrick, you and Sarah keep working. Mary, come with me. So how do we supposed to manually lock this? Uh. Hey, hey! Uh. You, uh, uh, uh. What, what the fuck? Hey, hey, let me out! You better let me out of here. No! You God. Hey, no. How sure are you? No, 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 She's no. Acting. No. Come on, please, Roger. Oh, fucking asshole. Open the door. No. He's in with us all. Come on. Kate. Kate! No. No. No, 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 no. Open the door, please. No, 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 no. Open the door. Oh, come behind you. What are you? Looking awfully happy there, Mary. Shit. Sorry, but we had to be sure. Oh. Fucker.
Oh shit, you think because I'm small, I'm weak? I control this host just like I will control you. This bitch! Uh, oh, oh, me! me. No! <sighs> <sighs> Don't think about it. She tried to kill you. It did. Not Mary. The objective is to survive. For that we have to do some pretty shitty stuff. But do I deserve to... to live? We're all gonna answer to that question. Well, I guess we don't have to watch Dylan anymore. I think we need to lock the rest of these guys out. This room doesn't lock. Uh, who the fuck designed this place? I'm never gonna see my mom again. Hey, Kate! There it goes! There it goes! We saw the thing. It's searching for a new host. Where's everyone at? Sarah and I are still in the communications room. Robin and I will be there shortly. We've been trying to send a signal. But we've only been trying to send it to one place. Where else are we going to send it? What's going on? Look! I can't wait to get your next message. You see that? She says she's waiting for me. So... We're on government contract, right? Kenny's been only sending it to a single place. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that one place. I see what you're saying, so you want to send it everywhere. Or anyone. I mean, we need help, right? So we'll just open up a flatbed signal and put out a message. Can't do that. You're right, whoever gets it can get us help. Yes. Wait. No, look, she's right, Roger. It's like sending a text that just hangs there. Once it connects, it'll get delivered. But you can't. Yeah, well, if nothing else, we'll warn people, right? No, you can't do that. He's infected. I'm not infected. You think I want to die knowing my son hates me? I almost killed her. I think it's time, Kate. Oh. What are you guys talking about? They want to blow up the base. I want to live. A sacrifice has to be made. Maybe we should wait. I agree. I'm glad you said that. I need to show you this. Uh, 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 no, get back! Out! Get out! Kate, whoa! Let's go. Come on, go! Go! This shit's starting to look pretty grim for all of us. If I thought there was no hope, I would have blown up the base already. It would have killed us all? In a second. And if it gets me, you're gonna have to do it. I don't see these two doing it. Look, this thing's after us. It already killed my mom. Win or lose, I'm gonna get my revenge. Revenge is a strong motivator. I'll take it. Sarah? Think of your mom. Think of your family. Think of your dog, even. Think of something, because we're not carrying you. Sarah, get up. Are we gonna use you as bait? That is cold, lady. We're all thinking it. I just said it out loud. <laughs> We're not running anymore, guys. I see it. I see something in the corner. It's, it's showtime. showtime. Oh, God! Uh, soon there won't be any left. Oh, Kate, wait, stop! It's out. Wait! Uh, I'm going hunting. Uh, 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 it was like two beings in my body. But it was mainly in control. Uh, uh, it got me. But I'm not dead yet. Robin, go get me some gauze. Okay. For my mom, I'm taking this thing with us. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll try to help Kate. You're the only one who can stop Patrick. Do I want to? Think about where we found it. Ah, oh, damn it. Please, please tell me it's not in you. Would I tell you if it was? Oh, it's you. So? This thing is quicker than a rat. 
I honestly don't know how to trap it or kill it for that matter. Where's Robin? She's with Patrick. He's gone crazy. He's hell-bent on blowing up the bases if we don't have enough problems. How is he still alive? Said it was like two people in one body. So we can trap it in our bodies? And only one of us need to sacrifice ourselves? How the hell do I know? It's like we're making this shit up as we go. You're the scientist. Give me your best theory. Well, in my best estimate... Okay. Works for me. Patrick? Robin, don't try to stop me. You know this is the only way. It's not like I'm trying to be the sole savior of the human race without anybody knowing about it. But if we get to the end and there's no one to set it off, we all lose. I, I see your point, but if you set that off, nobody wins. Remember, it was found outside when it got to Dylan. It can survive way more than we can. You blow this place, we die. Can't you see that? Uh, damn it, you got a point. Oh! Oh! Uh, I'm back. back. No! No! Stop! Uh, stop! Here, take it. Ah, uh, what do you want? I just, I just want, want to go, go home with, with you. you. Oh, God, over my dead body! Ah! Uh, 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 Sarah, if you're alive, meet me in your lab. The dictate me now, and all my body. This foresight is not good in me. So seal up your mouth and your body, and yes, ladies, the truth and hurts. But it's better than the alternative. You know Patrick is a hole in his body, and this rip through Dylan's spacesuit? I don't think this is going to be much help. Oh, you got a fucking point. <sighs> you did good, Robin. Well, um, I still think that he needs to be dissected so we can find this thing. If we're going to dissect him, it really should be in Medbay. No, we have to do it here. Dylan is sealed in Medbay. Sarah, cut open Deep Fry Patrick. We have to make sure this thing is dead. All right, well, I'm going to find something to cut him up with. If you guys can put him on the table. Here we go. Oh my god. can't believe I have to dissect Patrick. I know. But we have to make sure. Fine, you dumbass piece of shit. Neither one of us is gonna take you back. This host is more than capable of taking me to Earth. How do you figure that? I'll help her get to the Russian base and use their equipment. Oh yeah? So you think you'd have it all figured out? I think Kate is gonna fight you on that one. <laughs> now me being the last survivor, I have a few demands. So what you're saying is, there is an illness, and everyone died, <laughs> but you made it back. Hey, don't forget she learned how to decode Russia and use the equipment, but anyone can do that. We need you to explain this. I'll get to that. Light? No smoking. Fine. So are you guys gonna tell me this creature is your creation? Obviously not. I'm assuming Sarah's message got out to everyone, or else you would have buried me with all the information. We need to know what happened. 
To me or to it? Ma'am, please just answer the questions. Why? A billion dollars worth of investment is up there. We need to know what can be salvaged. It's in your best interest to just tell us everything. Fine. I needed to get to the Russian base, and I couldn't do it on my own. So I made a deal with it. And it was tired of waiting for you lazy fuckers to get up there. So I talked all the way. The suits, the base, everything. It records. I told what the codes are, where to go, left, right. I was basically giving instructions. Once on the base, the Russian ship fired up. <sighs> I hope you brought your bathing suit, bitch. Fucker. Where we're going is gonna get hot. The damn thing didn't even know the difference between high voltage and low voltage. Now I know Kate set that ship for a one-way trip to the sun. I know because I would have done the same thing. Now I ask you, did she make it? I guess you're not gonna tell me. You know, my friends died knowing that it was me that killed them. Do you want water or something? Explain! Figure it out, dumbass. I'm on a Russian base. I don't speak Russian. They're yelling in Russian. They're angry that I trespassed. And they were way pissed that Kate jacked their ship. It's the international language. It pissed them off enough at least to pick me up and take me home. So that's it. I'm sorry that it wasn't dramatic enough for you. How was your week? We're done here. You're a very brave woman. No. Those who died were brave. I was just lucky in the order of things. Well, do you need a ride or...? <laughs> like I'm gonna trust you guys to give me a ride home. So, Kate, this thing? Above my pay rate. Makes sense. Pretty remarkable. Yeah, if it was true. Sir? She's right. They have record of everything. Up until Kate and her entering that Russian base. Then it becomes her word. And the Russians aren't going to tell us shit. But we did see their ship take off for the sun. That doesn't mean she or the thing was on it. Where did she go? Well, I guess we'll just have to trust a word then. Yeah, the world's huge on trust these days. Then I guess hope it is. Sir, I told you we should have killed her when we had the chance. Screw public outcry, forget public opinion. It doesn't outweigh what's right. Hello? Hello, sir? Dylan! You cheap shot son of a bitch! Where are you at? Bitch. Viewing room. Dylan's dead. We got bigger problems. Kenny! One sec. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, one sec. Are you talking to somebody or are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. Oh. I'm <laughs> listening to me. I thought you were on the phone to Earth saying, wait a second. So that's all my captain, he went. Dude's always fucking what annoying me. I thought that you were actually talking to somebody. It's like, would the audience think that when you, that's what I'm saying. You said, hold on a sec, but you're, you're doing oh, this. Uh, yeah, hold I on thought, a sec. I thought See, she thought so too. I won't say it. Yeah.
It was an emergency. <laughs> okay, it was an emergency. I'm disregarding you overlooking my authority. <laughs> No one there to set it off. We all lose. Okay. <laughs> Snap. It heard all the Russian, and uh, um. <laughs> it heard all the Russian. Fuck that shit. No. <laughs> it's like nope. I'm out of here. Let's turn the dam. That's enough. Where are you going to grab? Where would you like to grab? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are behind closed doors. That's right. You don't know the ending. Did you give the way to Andy? She don't know the ending. I don't know. Here's the thing. None of them do. <laughs> oh, I forgot. A yam? Nice. There's some stuff over there. Well, I also found Dylan. He's a bitch. <laughs> well, if you guys screwed it up, go back. <laughs> Kate. Don't take my close up, Kate. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, Kate. Back up. This is my close up. <laughs> no, Kate's going to be with you. Kate's going to be like, hey, come with me. Kate's going to be like, hey, come with me. Kate's going to be like, hey, come with me. Kate's going to be like, hey, come with me. There's a handheld light in the uh, storage tree. Adrenaline's kicking. What does it matter? It's, she's not on camera. It's, it's so it feeds me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah! Action! Oh, I don't know. I actually lost my line there. I know. I'm sorry. See, my, my little gestures were just so good that you just lost it. I, w I was so captivated. I know. That I, I didn't even... I hardly remembered where I was. I know. I'm sorry I did that to you. <laughs> yeah. Why not? That's a yeah, good right? idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have like a donut that. shop on the base. Oh, shit. We're in shit. I thought this was my line. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. We're in. Yeah, you made me fuck up. <laughs> We're in shit. It's your fault. Yeah. Man. Mister. <laughs> and a mister. <laughs> He put it upside down. This funny as shit, by the way. Wait, what? <laughs> it's funny, then why don't you just leave it then? Because then it ain't gonna match the other tapes. We can't use it. <laughs> 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 oh, we know that's Kate. No, I haven't no, said it yet. She hasn't oh. said it yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it is. It was good, though. That was good. Uh, the forcefulness is good. Action. What the hell? I can't be in here. I know. You'll be, be over here. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Like, what the hell? Hey! Right I'm going to snowing! It's an alien! <laughs> holding this. I'm holding this. We put everything out there so we all know what's going on. Everyone needs to come clean. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you ever made these sets, it's just terrible. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say no. No, I'm saying yeah. No, I'll say no. That's what do you want me to say, no? No. Just like a uh, creepy no. no. Is it yeah creepier than no? Just yeah? Yes. Oh, ended. yeah. If a girl says you need something, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. said that to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, nothing from Earth. <laughs> 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 it feels real enough. 